हेलो यूट्यूब लिसनर्स दिस इज डॉक्टर सतीश सिंघल पीएचडी फैकल्टी कंप्यूटर साइंस एल कम्यूनो कॉलेज टोरेंस कैलिफोर्निया आई वॉन्ट टॉक अबाउट सी प्लस प्लस क्लासेज कॉन्स्ट मेंबर फंक्शंस सो नीड फॉर कॉन्स्ट मेंबर फंक्शंस I want to go to Visual Studio and show you a student class program. And I want to show you what happens if member functions that do not mutate class data members do not have the property of being const member functions. Okay, so let's go to Visual Studio. Here's my Visual Studio. I have a class called student. It has data members in uh, age. First name, GPA, ID, and last name. These are alphabetically uh, given. I have print function that prints uh, student data to console. Let's look at the function definition and prototype. This is the function definition, okay, in this student class. Void print. You can go to header file and look at the header information. There it is. <laughs> void print. Okay. Prints to console. How do we know that? We can look at the definition. It's doing C out, printing ID full name, age, and the GPA, okay? All right, let us say client is using this class in the main function, and they want to print a student object by another print function that is in the same file where main function is, and in order to say memory, they want to pass it by reference. And they also want to make sure that function doesn't alter it. So they pass it as a const reference. Enough words, I want to show you how that will look like. So I have the main function here. I can add the code here, but don't really need it right now. But I have this function called print, which is taking a student object by reference, but const is placed here so that this print function, which is in the main file, which is the main function, does not call a mutator on this object, does not call the set function on this object, because if that happens, the object could change, and our goal is only to print the object using its print number function. So let's see the definition of this. Definition of this is right here, that once this object is called, I can call the print function of the student class and print it. But notice there is a red line here showing that there's a compile error. And we can copy the compile error, show you in Microsoft Word in bigger letters. And to really see that on the video, I'll have to enlarge it. <clears throat> so we'll read it and then we'll try to make some sense out of it. It says, error C2663, student print, two overloads have no ligand co conversion for this pointer. Of course, you're not gonna understand what that means here. So let's go to the class definition and look at the two print functions we have, although we are using only the one that will print to console. Okay, so notice print here, this one is just print. This is also just print. C++ has a rule that 
<coughs> if a function does not have a const and modifier, then function can change the class data member inside that function. Whether it changes or not, that's not an issue. Issue is that it can change. Well, if there's no constant modifier here, then C++ says that you are asking me to treat this object in the print function in the main file, which is the main function, but you're calling a function on it that could actually change it. That's where the problem is. Okay? And that's what the scriptic error is that it says have no legal conversion for this pointer means there's no conversion from const to non-const state <coughs> that this print function will require. So there's a violation of agreement here. We are asking compiler, computer to treat this as a const, but then we end, end up calling a function which could change it. Not that it will change it, but it could change it. It just has to look at the possibility. So how do we fix this problem? We fix this problem that we go to first student.h and put the word const here. <clears throat> so all functions that have in their header and in their full definition the word at the con word const after the function name and argument list are called const member function. So we have to do the same thing in the implementation file. Not here, sorry, uh, over here. Const. And then you will see that when we go to the main function file, that error will disappear. See, it's gone. There's no red line here. I can actually show you that the program will compile now. One succeeded, okay? That's the key thing that shows us the need for const member function. Of course, job doesn't end right here. All the get functions, all the print functions should be const member functions. Let's discuss that in the PowerPoint. Which member functions sh should be const member functions and which should not be? All get functions or all read-only access functions should be const. All functions that merely access class data and print them to console, console or file or database or any other media. So print function are not supposed to change anything. But in essence, any functions that are having only read-only access should be having that const and modifier, which we just showed you here, right there. And in the full definition in the implementation file. Which function should not be const member function? Well, mutator or set member functions cannot do their job of altering class data members if they are declared const. So they should not never be const member functions. In fact, I can show you the effect right away. If I go to Visual Studio and go to my header file, so there's the this set last name. If I put a const here, that alone may not do anything. And then go to the implementation file, set last name. Not this, this is not the implementation file. <laughs> yeah, and put a const here. 
<clears throat> and then you will see right here there is an error it says no operator equal matches these operands operand types are const is string equal to string so what it is telling us here is that you cannot change this class data member which is last name with this new one because you declared it as a const member function so set functions should never be declared as const so we're going to delete that and we're going to delete that from the header file <clears throat> but all the get functions like get id get last name get first name get age get gpa and all the print functions should be uh, right now I'm just showing an example but later on in the full example I'm gonna put all these changes in okay that's the rationale for having cost member functions lastly which class member functions are not allowed constant modifier static member functions friend functions and constructors are not allowed const and modifier. Okay, that's it on const member functions in C++. If you have any questions, please leave a message here on YouTube. If you're my student, you can just talk to me or email me. Thank you. Bye.